Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we're going to see how to create a tooltip in Java. So in Java GUI Swing, you can create a tooltip for any component. That can be for the text field or for a label, for example, or even for a button. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to be creating tooltips. And uh, so as usual, I have the MyFrame class here, which is inheriting from the JFrame class. And I also have my main class here. So I'm going to write my code in the my frame class here. So what we're going to do is uh, we will create a label. So I'll say JLabel, label, new JLabel. And I will say username, semicolon. I'm going to create another label. I'll say JLabel, password, JLabel, password here. Then semicolon. You know what else we're gonna do here is that we're gonna create a text field. So I'll say J text field. I'll say text field one. I'll call this text field just text field. New J text field and then semicolon. So I need to import the J text field class. But just this particular text field will be used for the username. And I'm gonna say J password field. I'll say password field like this. New j password field then import the j password field all right so now i need to set the bounds for these labels so this one i will say username here so that will be user name that set bounds 100 100 150 i'll copy I'll do for the password here and change password so y axis i'll say 150 like this now, you know, I'll set the bounds for the text field here. So I'll say text field, set bounds. So I'll say 200 like this, paste it down here and change this to password field, 200 and 150 like this. So now what we're gonna do is to add these components to the frame. So I'll say add username, this the add password, this that add text field, this that add password field. So when I run, so now you can see I'm having the text fields showing here. Uh, I can reduce these, you can say 150 here or 200. So now if you wanna add a tooltip, Let's say, for example, to this text field, for example, how do you do that? So you simply come here and say text field that set tooltip text and say enter your username here. So if I do that and come here, run a program, so now you can see, now you can see the tooltip that is showing. Okay. So whenever my cursor comes on the component, it shows the tooltip. So I can also do that for password field, simply copy paste. I'm gonna change this to password field and say, enter your password here, run. Now you see, enter your password here. So we can actually even do that for the label. So for the label here, I'm gonna say username that set tooltip. And uh, I'll write, this is, a username label. So let me run. So now you can see this is a username label as soon as the cursor comes on the username label. Okay. So let's do that for password label as well. So what I'm going to change here would be password. Say this is the password label. Then when I run, so you can see this is the password label. So one other thing we can do is that we can add a button. Let's say for example, J button, BTN, U, J button, say sign in. That's the text of the button. You can say BTN at set bound, maybe 200, 200 as well and 250. So we'll come here and say this, that add BTN. When I run, you will see the button showing here. All right, so what else can I do here is that we will set a tooltip. So we'll say BTN that set tooltip text and I'll say, Click the button to sign in. So when I run, you see that when I put my cursor on the button, then the tooltip is showing. All right. So guys, that's how you can create a tooltip uh, by using the set tooltip text method and uh, set it on your various GUI components. So I really hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.